Hi everyone, my name is Martina Hallas and I write for the Speaking Out about Self-Injury blog at Healthy Place. Today I would like to talk uh, to you about yoga and how it helps me control my self-harm urges. So if you're rolling your eyes right now, I can totally understand. I'm also not a huge sports fan and I never really believed the hype that yoga can be so beneficial to your mental health. However, I did try it during a difficult time in my life and I did notice some benefits. So the first benefit was that yoga helped me relax. At first it was quite difficult because my mind was racing and my thoughts were all over the place, but with time it really works like a meditation practice. And uh, it, it's, it's quite gentle for you to follow every day, even though you can get quite a sweat of it, don't get me wrong. But because it's uh, centered around such slow movements and you get to listen to uh, the calming voice of the instructor, listen to your breathing and so on. It is quite calming. Then the second benefit was that yoga helped me become more mindful of my body, but also of my thoughts and emotions. And that's very important whenever you're feeling self-harm urges. It helps you distance yourself from them and uh, well, deal with it in a more mindful way. So that's definitely a huge benefit of yoga. Now, the third one is uh, more of a side effect to my original intention, which was to uh, improve my mental health and control my self-harm urges, but it's that yoga definitely uh, helped me tone my body and uh, uh, improve my physical fitness as well. And I think it's quite important because if you look in the mirror and uh, you learn to love yourself a little bit more, then uh, maybe you're not self-harming as much. So that's it for now. I wonder if maybe you practice yoga as well and you notice some other benefits that I haven't discussed. I would love to hear from you, so let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.